Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Wise and this is the continuation video of cost of capital. Already we have seen the first two different components that is cost of debt and cost of preferences. Okay, you can find the playlist link in the description box for the entire collection. Now in this video we are going to see the third component that is cost of equity shares. Under cost of equity capital we have five different models. Okay, in the previous videos we have seen the first two different models. Now in this video we are going to see the third model that is earnings price method. So according to this method again we have two different formulas. This one for new shares and this one for existing shares. Okay, the formula is KE. KE refers to cost of equity. Cost of equity is equal to EPS. EPS stands for earnings per share divided by net proceeds into 100. For existing share, cost of equity is equal to earning per share divided by market price into 100. Now let's see the numerical problem for better understanding. See the problem, earnings price method. X Limited wants to raise 30 lakhs by issue of new equity shares. The relevant information is given below. Number of existing equity shares 50,000. Profit after tax 4 lakhs. Market value of existing equity shares 20 lakhs. First one, compute the cost of existing equity capital. Second one, compute the cost of new equity capital if the shares are issued at a price of rupees 35 per share and the flotation cost is 3 rupees per share. Okay, with this information, we are going to find out the cost of equity according to two different cases. Now, let's see the solution. See the solution. First one, computation of cost of existing equity capital. Okay, see what is the formula for equity capital? KE, cost of equity is equal to EPS, earning per share divided by MP, market price per share into 100. So, we have to calculate two different components. First one, earning per share. What is the formula for earning per share? Profit available to equity shareholders. That is a profit after tax. So, profit after tax is amount available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. See the problem. Profit after tax. 4 lakhs. No, this is the amount available to equity shareholders. 4 lakhs divided by number of equity shares. How many number of equity shares? 50,000. 4 lakh divided by 50,000, you will be getting 8 rupees. So, this is earning per share. Okay, the first component is over. Second one, market price per share. See the problem. Market value of existing equity shares given 20 lakhs. Okay, now what is the formula to find out market price per share? Market value of share divided by number of equity shares. Okay, just apply the formula to find out market price per share. Market value of the equity shares 20 lakhs which is given in the problem divided by number of equity shares same 50,000. So, what is the answer? Rupees 40. So, this is market price per share and this one is EPS earning per share. Now, you can substitute the value in the formula to find out cost of equity. EPS 8 rupees divided by market price 40 rupees into 100. 20 percentage. So, this is the cost of existing equity capital. So, cost of equity for the existing capital is 20 percentage. Now, see the second calculation. See the second case. Uh, compute the cost of new equity capital if the shares are issued at a price of 35 rupees per share and the flotation cost is rupees 3 per share. Okay. Now, see the solution. See the calculation. The second one, computation of cost of new equity capital. That is KE. So, what is the formula for cost of new equity? EPS divided by NP. So, instead of market price, here we have to consider net proceeds because this one is a new equity. No. So, what is the formula for new equity? The issue price minus if there is any flotation cost. So, flotation cost means uh, any issue expenses that will be subtracted from the 
issue price in order to find out net proceeds. Okay. So, EPS, you can refer the previous calculation. So, already we have calculated EPS. No. How much? 8 rupees. Okay. Now, we need to calculate NP. So, what is the formula for NP? Issue price minus flotation charges. Just see the problem. See the problem. Here they have given issue price 35 rupees per share and flotation cost 3 rupees. So, 35 minus 3 is equal to 32. That is net proceeds per share. See the calculation. 35 rupees issue price minus flotation charges 3 rupees. So, NP is 32 rupees. Now, you can substitute in the formula. Earning per share how much? 8 rupees divided by NP 32 rupees into 100. What is the answer? 25 percentage. So, this is the cost of equity. That is the cost of new equity. See, this is the way to calculate cost of equity according to earnings price method. In the next video, we are going to see the fourth model that is a realized yield method. You can find the playlist link in the description box for the entire collection. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.